In this lecture, we will take some more examples of the uh, canonical LR of passing, and uh, we will be computing the canonical collection of LR1 items for th this particular grammar. E produces E plus T, E produces T, T produces star F, T produces F, and F produces I. So let us first uh, write the augmented grammar for this. So in the augmented grammar, we will add a production that produces the start symbol and dollar will be the follow of this e now since uh, after a dot there is uh, a non-terminal symbol so we will be writing all the productions starting with small uh, capital e with a dot at the first place so there are two productions uh, for this e produces e plus t and e produces dot t now see, you see if you see that uh, since there was a e appearing after the start so we have start we have taken all the production that those are starting with this e so the dollar will be there in the look ahead symbols okay now this e uh, sorry the, the this e is also appearing a dot after the dot this e is appearing after the dot so we will again be writing all the production those are starting with this particular capital E and if we write those things it means we are writing this production again and what will be the look ahead the look ahead will be we are starting with this one so look ahead will be first of plus t and dollar so the look ahead for plus t and dollar will be plus it means the first of plus t and dollar will be plus so we will add the, a plus here okay so uh, similarly you will be writing this e produces dot t and a plus as a look ahead now if you see the this one and this one and this one and this one are different in the look aheads only so you can combine these two so you just add dollar and plus here and you need not write these two productions again okay now you will be writing all the production is starting with t so t produces t star f and t produces capital f with a dot at the first place and the look aheads are dollar and plus here also the look aheads are dollar and plus now uh, this was this was just because of this one so t produces t star f and you are finding the first of dollar and plus okay so you have written the dollar and plus here now if you take this production where a, dot, a t is appearing after a dot and if you start writing the production t produces t star f then you will be taking the first of star f dollar and plus so the first of star f dollar and plus will be star Similarly, t produces dot f for this also. The look ahead will be star. So now these two productions, t produces t star f, t produces t star f, different in the look ahead only. So we are adding a star here, and we are adding a star here also, and these two can be skipped. Now after this, you will be writing all the production starting with this capital F. So capital F produces dot i, and the look aheads will be dollar plus and multiplication sign so this actually is the i0 okay so this is the state number 0 now we are going to take the different different symbols and we will see the transition first transition will be with this capital E so E dash produces E dot here and a dollar as a look ahead and then this one e produces e dot plus t and dollar and plus as the look ahead so this is state number one now after this you can take a t so if you take a t these are the two production which are appearing after the dot so e produces t dot with dollar and plus as the look ahead and this one t produces t 
dot star f with dollar plus n multiplication sign as a look ahead fine so let's say this is state number 2 now let's take a capital f so t produces f dot and the look aheads are dollar plus n multiplication sign let's say this is the look uh, state number 3 and then let us take an i here so f produces i dot and the look aheads are dollar plus n multiplication sign fine now we'll see the we, we will now see the transition from state number 1 so if we take a plus here the transition will be e produces e plus dot t with dollar and plus now all the production is starting with t so t produces dot t star f and t produces dot f what should be the look ahead uh, since we are starting this these two production because of this t so we will be taking the first of dollar and plus so first of dollar and plus will be dollar and plus but if you take this one wherein we will be again taking t produces t star f t produces dot t star f then we will have to take the first of these two symbol these symbols star f dollar n plus so that means that a star will also be added in the look ahead as we have done it in this uh, i0 okay and then f produces dot i with a dollar plus and multiplication sign as a look ahead so this is state number 4 sorry 5 fine now if we take uh, some transition from here yes. we take the star here so t produces t star dot f with a look ahead dollar plus n multiplication sign and then all the production is starting with this f with a look ahead dollar plus n multiplication sign okay you will be writing all the production is starting with this f and the follow will be uh, sorry the look aheads will be after this f so dollar plus n multiplication sign dollar plus n multiplication sign at the look ahead for this particular production so this is state number 6 no transition possible from this state and no transition is possible from this state as well now coming to the 5 if you take uh, a symbol capital t here so the transitions which are possible here are e produces e plus t dot and the look ahead will be all the look aheads which are there for the dollar and plus why dollar and plus because here we are shifting this position of dot so the look aheads will remain same now the t will be shifted here also dot will be shifted after the t t dot star f with a dollar plus n multiplication sign as the look ahead fine this is the state number 7 and now if you see the transition from this six state it will be for capital f t produces t star f dot and the look aheads are dollar plus n multiplication sign so this is the new state let's say the number of the new state is 8 okay now if you see uh, i from here it leads to f produces i dot with dollar plus n multiplication sign as the 
if you shift this a uh, dot after this i so the locates will be dollar plus in multiplication sign so f produces i dot with dollar plus in multiplication sign so that means you are going to state number four okay this is same now if you see a capital f here this will be t produces f dot and dollar plus and multiplication sign as the look ahead so this is same as the state number three okay now if you take an i from here you will go to f produces i dot with dollar plus and multiplication sign as the look ahead okay so this is same as the state number four So I believe uh, no other transition is possible. We have seen this 5, 6, 7. Yes, from 7 uh, there may be some transitions. You can see those transitions. Uh, if you take a star here. Okay. If you take a star here. If it, so this will be T produces t star dot f with look ahead dollar plus n multiplication and all the production is starting with f so dot i with the same look ahead if you can see that uh, these two are or the collection of these two items are nothing but the state number six fine so we have seen all the productions, uh, we have seen all the transitions. Now we are ready for making the table. So for the table, there are eight states in totality. So we're writing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 state. The two parts, one part is action, the other part is go to. In the action part, all the terminal symbols plus multiplication, i and dollar. In go to, all the terminal sim non terminal symbol e, t, and f. Okay. So now let us make the entries to this table. For making the entries, let's look at this canonical collection. Fine. So from 0 with capital E, we are going to 1. From 0 on capital T, we are going to 2. From 0 with capital F, we are going to 3. From 0 to I, we are going to 4. This, is, this I is the uh, terminal symbol. So with 0 and I, we will be writing S4. Fine. Now, if we are going, if we are taking a dollar here in one state, this will be an acceptance because uh, the dollar is appearing after the start state. So one and dollar will be accept. Now see the transition from one on one and plus. We are going to state number five. So we'll be writing S5. No more transition from 1. So we'll now be taking the transition from 2 on 2. With this star, you're going to 6 state. So on 2, with this start, you're going to 6 state. So we'll be writing S6. Now on 3, no transition. On 4, no transition. On 5, there are some transitions. On 5, with capital T, you're going to 7. So on 5, with capital T, you're going to 7. So now on 5 with capital F, you're going to 3. So on 5 with capital F, you're going to 3 state. Now on 5 with a small i, you're going to 4 state. On 5 with a small i, you're going to 4 state. So you'll be writing S4. So the transition from 6 is over. Now we're going to write the transition from so transition from 5 is over, we will now be writing the transition from 6 state. 
from 6 with capital F you're going to 8 with 6 on capital F you're going to 8 on 6 with a small i you're going to 4 on 6 with a small i you will be writing as 4 so transition from 6 is over now we'll be seeing the transition with 7 so on 7 with a star you're going to 6 state so on 7 with a star you're going to 6 state so we'll be writing s6 fine so we're done with all the transitions now let, let us look at uh, what are the final items what are the production having the final items so there is one final item in the state number two there is one final item in the state number three final item means the dot appears at the last final item is at state number four no final item no final item there is a final item in seven state and there is a final item is the eighth state okay now let us number this production one two three four and five so let us look at the first final item that is two so this is e produces t dot so e produces t actually is the second production so you'll be writing r2 at the places dollar and plus so table may in the table in the place of plus you'll be writing r2 and at the place of dollar also you'll be writing r2 next final item is because of three so t produces f which is production number four so in the third row you will be writing r4 and r4 will be written at dollar plus and multiplication so r4 plus multiplication and dollar now next final item is in this state number four which is the production number five so at the place of dollar plus and multiplication you will be writing r5 so state number four at the place plus r5 multiplication r5 and dollar r5 now the final item is there at the state number seven which is e produces e plus t state number one sorry production number one so you'll be writing r1 in seventh row at the places dollar and plus so in seventh row at the place of dollar you'll be writing r1 and at the place of plus also you'll be writing r1 next final item it is in the state number eight t produces t star f which is the third production so we'll be writing r3 in the eighth state and the look aheads are dollar plus n multiplication so r3 at plus r3 at star and r3 at dollar so this completes the canonical lr parsing table now in case you have to parse a string and you just want to see if the table that we have made is correct or you want to just parse this uh, string let's say i plus i multiplied with i so let's take a dollar at the end so this is the stack this is telling us the current item that we're taking and this is the action taken so in the stack we have 0 and the current item is i so on 0 with i 0 with i is s4 so i will be shifted on the stack and this is the fourth action next item is plus so 4 and plus 4 and plus is r5 so you have to reduce according to the production number 5 we may write all this production again here e produces e plus t e produces t t produces t star f and t produces f and f produces i 
so production numbers are here here you have to perform r5 means according to f produces i so two two symbols on the stack will be replaced by the left hand side of the production that is f now 0 and f 0 and f is 3 the symbol remains same now we'll look at 3 plus 3 plus is r4 it means again reduction by fourth production which is t produces f so two symbols on the stack will be converted to the left hand side of the production that is t so 0 t and now 0 and t is 2 okay now we're going to see 2 plus 2 and plus is r2 so you are again going to reduce it by the production number second the second production is e produces t so two symbols on the stack will be converted to the left hand side of the production that is e now you have 0 e 0 and e is 1 and then 1 plus 1 plus is s5 it means you have to shift this plus symbol on the stack the plus symbol is shifted on the stack and the rule number is 5 now you have to see the next symbol that is i we have 5 and i 5 and i is s4 this symbol will be shifted on the stack with the rule number 4 so 0 e1 plus 5 i4 then next symbol is multiplication sign so we have 4 multiplication 4 and multiplication is r5 reduction by the production number 5 f produces i so these two symbols will be converted to the left hand side of the production that is f so 0 e1 plus 5 and then f fine so 5 and f is 3 now 3 and multiplication sign 3 multiplication sign is saying r4 it means you have to reduce by the fourth production which is t produces f so two symbols on the stack will be converted to the left hand side of the production that is t so 0 e1 plus 5 t and 5 in capital t is 7 7 multiplication is s6 okay you have to shift this multiplication symbol on the stack with the rule number 6 so 0 e1 plus 5 t 7 multiplication 6 next symbol is i now 6 with i 6 with i is s4 so you have to shift this symbol on the stack 0 e1 plus 5 t 7 multiplication 6i 4 next symbol is dollar fine so 4 and dollar 4 and dollar is r5 reduction with the production number 5 which is for f produces i so two, two, two symbol on the stack will be converted to f so f 6 capital f is 8 and 8 dollar is r3 r3 means reduction by production number 3 so production number 3 is t produces t star f there are three symbols on the stack sorry three symbols on the right hand side of the production so the reduction will be of six symbol from the stack so three symbols on the right hand side three multiplied with two six symbols one two three four five six so entirely from t to 8 will be converted to the left hand side of the production that is capital T. So 0 e1 plus 5 and then capital T. So now 5 capital T is 7 and 7 and dollar. 7 and dollar is r1. R1 means reduction with the production number 1. So production number 1 is E produces E plus T. 1, 2, 3. 3 symbols. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 symbols from the stack will be converted to the left hand side of the production that is capital E. So 0, capital E. Now 0, capital E is 1. And you know that 1 dollar, 1 dollar is accept. 
so this string has got accepted that means that it uh, is according to the rules set by the grammar right so the only important thing uh, is to understand how this uh, canonical collection of lr1 items are written okay with the different symbols uh, sorry with, with the same symbol different look aheads may appear so you just have to combine those look aheads and it will become easier for you fine if you have to compute the uh, canonical collection of lr0 items for that it is uh, not a big deal okay we were considering that from one symbol only once the production is written but here with the one symbol more than once the production can be written if the look aheads are different Right. Thank you.